we just came from the junkyard. Um, Evans with me. We had a decent haul of parts that we got. I did end up finding a door for the truck. Um, it's not the cleanest door. I was kind of hoping for something a little nicer, but it'll work for now and it's going to be a door that opens and shuts, which is not what I have right now. So I'll be pumped for that. Um, I also found some switches that I needed for my passenger door. Hopefully they work. It wasn't exactly out of the, this style truck, so um, if they work, great. If not, it wasn't that expensive. So uh, Evan had a decent haul on his truck as far as finding parts of the junkyard, so we'll go check those out right now. All right, so here's what Evan found. Um, what do you got? Uh, so I didn't get any of the uh, mechanical stuff that I wanted, but I did get some body parts and some things that I needed. Um, the seats in my truck are a mess. I got seats from one year truck and another seat from another year truck, so they're mismatched. So we found a nice bench seat. Um, my window seals, my side windows don't seal up, so we got some new um, window seals, the gaskets with, took the glass too, and, um, and then I got some clean mirrors. That's it. I'm pumped about the seat. That is sweet. Way better than what's in there. So, do you think people are going to be able to tell what kind of truck this is based off of looking at what you got here? Some folks will know what it is. Because we haven't yet revealed this truck that's coming in an upcoming video. So, well, I'm going to get started on putting on this door because I'm excited for that right now. It's going to take me a minute. So to take this door off at the moment, or to open it at least, I had to unbolt this every time because something with the mechanism that opens this door is not working. And instead of fixing whatever problem that was, I just got a different door. And it's not that I couldn't have fixed it, but I don't know if you can see, that's a daylight. This door is as shot as it is, so why not just go find a door to swap in that works correctly and kill two birds with one stone. So you got that speaker wire out? Yep. And you don't have a radio? Not yet. A couple more bolts and this thing is falling off. One door. Moment of truth. Oh, <laughs> it opens. That is awesome. Looks good. Perfect. All right, so another thing I actually forgot that I even grabbed from the junkyard is a shifter. So the problem that I have with the shifter, I really don't know what's going on, but there's normally three wires coming out of here for overdrive, the button's right here. So when you push it, you can turn it off or on. These normally always have three wires. For whatever reason, this one has two wires. I don't know if the previous owner of this truck grabbed a shifter because he maybe broke his and I don't know what this is out of, an F-150 or who knows. But this has two wires and it doesn't plug into a three wire harness. So I never had the option of turning my overdrive off. So I got one of these with three wires and I'm gonna get overdrive working on the truck. The 
This is a common problem on these trucks. The overdrive button on the shifter, wires goes through here. If your overdrive button doesn't work, it's almost always right here in the harness. This is just too tight on the column, and when you're shifting, this wire's chafing on stuff. And you're, if you have a problem, it's right here in this harness, 100%. So hopefully we just fixed that. And? It works. Sweet. Yep. There it is. On, off, lit up. Easy fix. Just a little, little problem in the wiring. One wiring problem fixed on this truck. How many more to go? A lot. <laughs> Too yeah. many. All right. So, with the window switches I got from the junkyard, that's gonna fix my window problem of it never worked. Um, I've replaced the motor. I've replaced switch on that side. I've done a lot. I don't know that this is going to fix the problem, but for now I've had the window disconnected from the motor, just took the motor right out, so I just push it up and down by hand, but obviously that's super annoying. I want to be able to open the window from that side. So we're going to see if the switch that I got from the junkyard works. After I find where I put that motor, I think it's upstairs. So right now I am pulling these switches apart. Um, the panels are different, but the switches look like they're the same. So I'm going to pull the ones out of the new one that we got and put them in the old uh, panel. That's a wrap for today. Um, it's kind of a bummer that that door switch didn't work. I was kind of hoping that that did fix the problem and probably should have tested those wires first I suppose but now I know so I'll probably need to dig into that harness or find a new harness for the door or something. It's, I'm assuming it's in there. So got a working door on the truck though so that's a plus. Loud motorcycles screwing up my filming. Anyway, got a new door. I'm pumped that it works. I'm pumped that it's in, at least in a little better shape than the one I had, so that's a plus. And I'm pumped with all the stuff we got for Evan's truck coming up. I really think you guys are gonna be really excited when you see that thing, and I'm, I'm hoping to reveal that pretty soon. So, gonna keep finding some parts for this thing and get it back together and We'll be in good shape. So until the next one, thanks for watching.